it was so frightening what I went through. And Locked up like a prisoner in her own home. Her jailer, she says her own nephew and his girlfriend. It all started after she allowed them to move into her Harlem apartment a few years ago. At first, things seemed okay. The plan was to have the couple help out with paying bills. I thought she was a nice person and uh, we accepted her. But later, after about a, a year or so, she was still there, she started getting really ugly and they stopped paying rent. 81-year-old Margie Allen is describing how things quickly changed. The conditions she endured allegedly at the hands of her own family. For months, she says the couple made it difficult for her to move freely around in her apartment. She says this gate was used to keep her confined. She put the gate there so that I couldn't go to the bathroom. And apparently the gate blocked Allen from the kitchen as well. And that's not all. I couldn't even take a shower. Allen shows us pictures of what it was like inside her apartment. She says the couple used clutter to block the hallway. That made it hard to leave her apartment on a daily basis. And to top it off, she says there was also verbal abuse. She was always cursing at me. Alan remembers one day things got physical. I was trying to get out of the apartment. He was pushing me back and all. And then by then, I, that really got upset, you know. That really started scaring me. At some point, police got involved. Eventually, the police came from the precinct, 28th precinct. And then they know also came, and he finally opened the door, and then they... They asked him what was the problem. In the process, they took him to jail. And they explained to me, this man is attempting to have you uh, committed. Committed to a mental institution. With tearful eyes, she tells us the couple had plans to take over her finances and her apartment. And they allegedly went to the extreme. Feeling lost and confused, Alan said she was treated worse than an animal and had no idea what to do. I was just so fearful. And then um, it was just so hard. It was just so much. I just hate them. It's just, I, I was able to reach out to Stephanie. She turned to Stephanie McGraw, founder of We All Really Matter, or WARM, a community organization that helps domestic violence victims. At her critical point, this family member wanted the apartment. And, they, and so what they did was went to the court and told the court that she was mentally and capable of taking care of herself. They said, oh, we think she's crazy because she is in, using the bathroom in a bucket. They had her locked in the back. She couldn't get to the bathroom. McGraw and her team quickly moved in, helped Allen navigate the court system. We went to family court. We got all protection for Miss Allen, got the nephew and his girlfriend out the house. We also, from that, got Margie grief counseling. Now Allen says she's free, doing better, and offers this advice to any senior who may fall victim. You think you can handle it by yourself, but you can't. You have to find people that would help you as I did. Allen spends time at Warm, a place she says lives up to its name. In Harlem, Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.